There are several different ways you can check if virtualization is enabled on your Windows computer. One quick way is to open the Task Manager and navigate to the Performance tab. Under CPU Performance, you'll find the virtualization status. Another method to check virtualization status is through the System Information window. In the system summary, look for the entry, virtualization enabled in firmware. If the value is, yes, that means virtualization is enabled on your system. You can also obtain the same information using the command prompt by running the system info command. The, virtualization enabled in firmware, entry will display the status of virtualization. For those who prefer PowerShell, you can use the get computer info command. Look for the entry labeled Hyper-V Requirement Virtualization Firmware Enabled. If this value is true, then virtualization is enabled. If Windows shows that virtualization is disabled, it's likely because the feature is turned off in the BIOS. Modern CPUs support virtualization, but sometimes it needs to be enabled in the BIOS settings. Enabling virtualization is a bit different depending on your CPU and motherboard. If you've got an Intel CPU, you'll want to look for settings called Intel Virtualization Technology or VTD under the Advanced BIOS settings. If your computer has an AMD CPU, look for settings called SVM mode. To get detailed instructions specific to your computer, check your motherboard model and search for specific instructions on the manufacturer's website.